Good morning. The topic that I'm going to discuss today is multiple regression. Multiple regression is an extension of the simple linear regression. It is the process of using several predictor variables to help obtain more accurate predictions. For our regression equations with two predictors, we have there our y prime, that is the variable that we are trying to predict, it is equal to b1x1 plus b2x2 plus a. Our x1 and x2 is of course the two predictor variables. For our uh, b1, the formulas for b1, b2, and a, we have there, for b1, we have sum of products of x1 and y times the sum of squares of x2 minus the sum of products of x1, x2 times the sum of products of x2, y divided by the sum of squares of x1 times the sum of squares of x2 minus the sum of products of x1, x2 squared. For b2, we have there the sum of products of x2, y times the sum of squares of x1 minus the sum of products of x1, x2 times the sum of products of x1, y divided by the sum of squares of x1 times the sum of squares of x2 minus the sum of products of x1, x2 squared. For our a, we have there the mean of y minus b times the mean of x1 uh, minus b times the mean of x2. Okay, so for our r squared, r squared is equal to SS regression divided by SSY or SS regression is equal to r squared times SSY or we can compute that by using this formula. r squared is equal to B1 times the sum of square or sum of product of X1Y plus B2 times the sum of product of x1 x2 y divided by the sum of squares of y again r2 describes the proportion of the total variability of the y scores that is accounted for by the regression equation for our example number one we have here our data we have 10 people we have there our y our x1 and our x2 scores we need to get the sums the sum for x1 x2 and y for the summation of x1 we have there 40 for the summation of x2 we have there 60 for the summation of y we have there 70 for the summation of x1 squared that is equal to 222 Summation of x2 squared, we have there 424. And summation of y squared, we have there 580. We need to get the mean of y, that is equal to 7. The mean of x1, we have there 4. And the mean of x2, we have there 6. For the summation of x1, y, we need to multiply the, the values that we have in x1 group and y okay we have there then get the sum we have there 334 for the summation of x2 y we need to multiply the values in x2 and the values in y we have there, then get the sum we have there 467 and then next is we need to multiply the values in x1 and x2 the summation of x1 x2 is equal to 282 and then now we can compute for the sum of squares. For the sum of squares of x1, we have there the summation of x1 squared, that is 222 minus the summation of x1 squared over n1, that is equal to 222 minus 40 squared over 10, we have 62. 
for our SS or sum of squares of x2, we have there the summation of x2 squared minus the summation of x2 squared over n2. We have 424, that is the summation of x2 squared minus the summation of x2 is 60, then squared divided by n is 10, that is equal to 64. For our SSY or the sum of squares for y, we have there the summation of y squared minus summation of y squared over ny. The summation of y squared is 580 minus the summation of y is 70 squared divided by 10, that's our n, that is equal to 90. For the sum of products of x1, y, we have there the summation of x1y is uh, minus the summation of x1 times summation of y over n. Our summation of x1y, that is again, we multiply the values in, the, in x1 group and the y group, that is 334 minus the summation of x1 is 40 times 70, this is the summation of y divided by 10, that is equal to 54. For our sum of products for x2y, that is the summation of x2y minus the summation of x2 times the summation of y over n is equal to 467 minus 60 times 70 divided by 10, which is equal to 47. For our sum of products of x1, x2, that is equal to the summation of x1, x2 minus the summation of x1 times the summation of x2 over n, we have there 282 minus 40 times 60 over 10. That is equal to 42. For our b1, okay, so using the formula sum of product of x1y times sum of squares of x2 minus sum of products of x1, x2, times sum of product of x2y over the sum of squares of x1 times sum, uh, sum of squares of x2 minus the sum of product of x1, x2 squared. We have there 54 times 64 minus 42 times 47 divided by 62 times 64 minus 42 squared. Our b1 is 0 0.672. For our B2, again, using the formula given, we have sum of product of x2y times sum of squares of x1 minus sum of products of x1, x2 times sum of products of x1y divided by the sum of squares of x1 times sum of squares of x2 minus sum of products of x1, x2 squared. We have there 47 times 62 div minus 42 times 54 divided by 62 times 64 minus 42 squared so it gives us 0 0.293 for our a we have there y bar minus b1 x bar 1 minus b2 x bar 2 so we have there our mean of y is 7 minus our b1 is 0 0.672 times the mean of x bar 1 uh, the mean of x1 that is 4 minus b2 of 0 0.293 times the mean of x2, we have there 6. Our a is equal to 2.554. Okay? So for our equation, we have there y prime minus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus a. So we have here, y prime is equal to 0 0.672 x1 plus 0 0.293 x2 plus 2.554 so for our r squared that is equal to b1 times sum of product of x1y plus b2 sum of products of x2y divided by sum of squares of y we have there 0 0.672 times 54 plus 0 0.293 times 47 divided by 90 for our r squared, we have there 0 0.5562. For our SS regression, that is equal to r squared times SSY or the sum of squares of y, we have there 0 0.5562 times 90, we have 50.059. For our SS residual, we have there 1 minus our r squared times sum of squares of y, that is equal to 0 0.4438. 
times 90, we have 39.942. Then, let us compute for our MS residual. Our MS residual is equal to SS residual divided by the degrees of freedom. We have there uh, 39.942 divided by, for the degrees of freedom, 10 minus 3. That is our N minus the number of groups. We have 7. That is equal to 5.706. For our MS regression, that is SS regression divided by the degrees of freedom. We have there 50. Uh, our SS regression is 50.059 divided by the number of groups minus 1. That is 2 is equal to 25.0295. For our F ratio, that is MS regression divided by MS residual, we have there 25.0295 divided by 5.706. That gives us 4.3865. Then, let us compare this with our tabular value of F. At 0 0.05 level of significance, with degrees of freedom 2 and 7, our tabular value is 4.7374. Okay, so as you can see, this is our tabular value is greater than our F ratio or computed value. So we cannot conclude that the regression equation accounts for a significant portion of the variance for the Y-scores. Okay, so for example number two, let us evaluate the relationship between churches and crime while controlling the population. For the number of churches, okay, we are given the number of churches that is our X1, the population is X2, and the number of crimes is our Y. So this is, or these are our values for our data set. Okay, so from these values, we have computed for the sums. Okay, so we have there, the summation of x1 is 135, the summation of x2 is 30, the summation of y is 135. For the summation of x1 squared, that is equal to 1,605, summation of x2 squared, that is 70, summation of y squared is equal to 1,605. For our means, for group 1 or x, x1, we have there 9, x2, x bar 2 is 2, y, uh, y bar that is 9. For our summation of x1, y that is equal to 1, 5, 7, 8, summation of x2, y that is equal to 330, summation of x1, x2 that is equal to 330. For this, let us compute for the sum of squares of x1, x2, and y. Okay? So again, using the formulas given, we have there, for sum of squares of x1, we have 1605 minus 135 squared divided by 15, that is equal to 390. For the sum of squares of x2, that is equal to 70 minus 30 squared divided by 15, we have there 10. For SSY, we have there summation of y squared minus summation of y squared over n that is equal to 1,605 minus 135 squared over 15, that is 390. And then let us compute for the sum of products for x1, x2, x1, y, x2, and y. For the sum of products of x1 and x2, we have there 330 minus 135 times 30 over 15, that is equal to... 60. For the sum of products of x1, y, we have there summation of x1, y minus summation of x1, summation of y over n, that is 1578 minus 135 times 135 divided by 15, we have 363. And then for x2, y, we have there the summation of x2, y minus summation of x2, times summation of y over n, that is equal to 330 times 30, uh, minus 30 times 135 divided by 15, that is equal to 60. Okay, 
Then, uh, computing for B1, okay, again, using the formula, we have the sum of products of X1, Y, sum of squares of uh, uh, X, X, X1, this is X, uh, sum of uh, sum of products of x two minus sum pro uh, ss two sum of products of x one x two the sum of products of x two y divided by the sum of squares of x one the uh, times the sum of squares of x two minus sum, the sum of products of x one x two squared again this is x two okay then that is equal to 363 times 10 minus 60 times 60 over 390 times 10 minus 60 squared. It gives us 0 0.1. For B2, we have there sum of products of X2Y times sum of squares of X1 minus the sum of products of X1, X2 times the sum of products of X1Y divided by the sum of squares of X1, sum of squares of X2 minus the sum of products of X1, X2 squared. So that is equal to 60 times 390 minus 60 times 363 over 390 times 10 minus 60 squared. That is equal to 5.4. Then for our A, we have there Y bar minus B1 X bar 1 minus B2 X times X bar 2. So we have there 9 minus 0 0.1 times 9 minus 5.4 times 2. We have there negative 2.7. Then for our equation, y prime minus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus a. So we have there 0 0.1 x1 plus 5.4 x2 minus 2.7 since our a is negative 2.7. Then let us compute for our r squared. So we have there b1 times sum of squares of x1 y plus b2 times sum of squares of x 2y over sum of squares of y. We have there 0 0.1 times 363 plus 5.4 times 60 over 390. That is equal to 0 0.9239. We have a high correlation coefficient. So we have there SS regression. We have r squared times SSY. That is equal to 0 0.9239 times 390. We have 360.36 at uh, 360.321. For SS residual, we have there 1 minus R squared times SSY. That is equal to 0 0.0761 times 390. We have there 29.679. For the MS residual, we have their SS residual divided by the degrees of freedom. We have 29.679 divided by our number of values 15 minus the number of groups 3. That is equal to 2.47325. For our MS regression, we have SS regression divided by the degrees of freedom. We have 360.321 divided by 3 minus 1, that's the number of groups minus 1, that is equal to 180.1605. Then for our F, F ratio, that is the MS regression divided by MS residual, that is 180.1605 over 2.47325, that is equal to 72.8436. So what is our tabular value? For our F at 0 0.05, that is 3.8853 at degrees of freedom, 2 and 12. So here, we can conclude that the regression equation accounts for a significant portion of the variance for y. Okay? For the r squared of 0 0.9239, the population by itself predicts 92.4% of the variance. As for the standard error of estimate, that is equal to the square root of MS residual, that is equal to the square root of 2.47325, we have a standard error of estimate of 1.573. Okay, so that's all.